Hello everyone, how are you going today? Today, in today's video, I'll be talking about Polkadot Parachain Auctions. Uh, they are officially launching on November 11th of this year, and I'll be discussing three things. In the first part, I'll be talking about what Polkadot Parachains actually are. In the second part, I'll be talking about how crowd loans actually work. And in the third part, I'll be looking at Kusama, Polkadot's Canary Network, and how they did in their recent Parachain Auction and how that may be a good gauge on how Polkadot projects may do based on this information. Whether or not you are holding DOT, it is still a good idea to know what this is all about, as there could be some serious price action happening in the following weeks. So if that sounds good to you, please be sure to punch that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to activate the bell button so you'll be notified of any future content. Before talking about parachain auctions though, we should firstly really understand what parachains are so we can fully understand what these projects are actually bidding on. This image represents an, the entire Polkadot ecosystem. So basically, Polkadot it is, is an interoperable collection of blockchains, which can easily communicate to one another. This part of the circle is called the relay chain, which in turn is connected to multiple parachains. So each parachain will have their own blockchain and will be able to easily connect to other chains on the Polkadot ecosystem thanks to the relay chain. So in a nutshell, there are only about 100 parachain slots available. And if a project wants to get one of these slots, then they have to bid on them using their DOT and win a slot from the up and upcoming auctions. These slots are extremely sought after and competitive and so projects bidding on these slots in order to gather enough DOT ask the public, that's you or me, to loan out our DOT to help them to secure their slot. In return for lending out our DOT, these projects will reward us by giving us some tokens in relation to the amount of DOT that we lent out. By the way, the amount rewarded will be decided before the crowd loan actually starts. The duration of the Polkadot Parachain slot is for two years, which is divided up into eight cycles, with a minimum duration of three months, three months being one cycle. So, for example, when Akala bids for a Parachain slot for two years duration, then they'll have to make a bid for the eight complete Parachain slots for two years, and with our help, through crowd loaning, they'll become the highest bidder. And after they have won the auction, our DOT will be locked up, and after two years, it will be returned to us. In the meantime, Akala will issue us some of their precious ACA tokens as a reward for us lending them our DOT. I hope that makes sense. So basically, in exchange for lending the protocols, our DOT will be rewarded from these protocols in their native token, and after two years, our DOT will be returned to us. The parachain slot auction will use candle auction phase mechanism, which also means that there is a bidding between the protocols who want to get the parachain, and the winner will be randomly selected at a certain point of time, in between the auction period, and not at the end. I guess this will encourage more aggressive bidding. So projects like Akala, Moonbeam, and Astar will need more tokens aside from the ones that they have accumulated for the crowd loan auctions in order to secure an early parachain slot. This will give us a huge opportunity to lend out our DOT and be in line for those juicy rewards. So let's check out some of the rewards that have been made in Kusama crowd loans earlier this year so we can gauge how Polkadot parachain auctions might do. So this table shows us the rewards Kusama holders were able to get in the recent crowd loan event for Kusama Parachain Auction. Crowd loan participants were able to get 14 MOVR tokens per their, per their Kusama token, which comes to approximately $3,383. You would have been able to get 70 SDN tokens per KSM token, which comes to approximately $272. And finally, you would have gotten 22 car tokens per their KSM token, which comes to approximately $184. Not too shabby. All those rewards, and at the end of the cycle, which by the way is only 28 weeks for summer, and then you'll be able to get all your original KSM tokens back. Seems like a pretty good deal to me. 
So all I have to say is I'll continue to stack my dot and get everything done now and be ready before the auction starts. So firstly, you'll need to get your polkadot.js wallet ready. Secondly, research the projects you think may win a slot and you are bullish on. Thirdly, make sure you have the Twitter alerts on for the projects you are interested in for the parachain auctions so you can be updated if they have any info or any applications and deals going on. And fourthly, make sure you unstake any dot you have staked now so it is ready in time before the auction starts. Guys, I hope you could like this video and you could learn something useful today. And even if you aren't going to participate in the crowd loans, you might find it quite a good opportunity in the knowledge that the dot price may be very volatile and in an upward trajectory in the coming weeks. Don't forget to slap me a like and please comment if there is anything else you'd like me to work on and I'll see what I can do. That's all for today everyone. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time. Bye for now.